Hi, for this video, what we're going to do is we're going to find critical values um, for Z naught or Z star. And for this one, we're going to use a table. Um, I'm going to do all three scenarios just so that you know how to find them using a table. Um, I will also address this using both um, the TI-84 and the TI-Inspire. Um, for this one using the table, what we will do is alpha equals point zero point zero five for a Z um, critical value, you only have to know your alpha level and whether you have a one tail or a two tail test. So for the first one, a left tail, what the left tail tells us is that we are looking for the rejection region where um, alpha 5% is shaded. So we're looking for where 5% of our area is shaded. Okay, so our Z naught or our Z star, depending upon your textbook, would be this value that gives us that cutoff region. So if I pull up the table, what I would do is since we have a left tail, this would be a one tail test, and I would go to 0 0.05, and then I would scroll to the very, very bottom of that row, and we see that it's 1.645. The table only lists the positive um, Z score, but if you notice that we would have to have a negative on this one since it's below the mean of zero. So for this one, our Z naught or Z star is just negative 1.645. So remember that this is always going to be negative for left tail. Now for a right tail, the only difference between this one and the last one is in a right tail test is now our alpha is shaded at the right side. So we're looking for this value up here where alpha is 5%. And this is simply just the table value. So if I went back, I would go to the exact same place. Um, just to recap, you would go to a one tail, a right tail is one tail, we would find 0 0.05, we'd go to the very bottom, it hasn't changed, it's still 1.645. So for this one, our Z naught or our Z star, however you want to, however your text presents it, would just be positive 1.645 since um, it is above the mean. The last one is for a two tail. If you have a two tail, that means that you have both tails shaded and your alpha is divided evenly between the two. So that means that half of alpha is here and half of alpha is here. So what we would do is we would go to our table and this time um, we would look for a two tail test and find 0 0.05 and then we would go to the very bottom of this one and we see that it's 1.96. So for this one, we have to list both of them. Our negative Z would be 1.96. Our positive Z would be 1.96. So we have negative 1.96 and positive 1.96. So if it asks you for the critical values, you would just say that Z0 or Z star is equal to negative 1.96 and positive 1.96. As always, thanks for watching.